this is Gary Tonincourt from more than a snapshot dot com the other day I found this cool little uh, helper tutorial that helps you to learn the pen tool in Photoshop and I've tried learning the pen tool on my own you know you can watch a video about how to do it but it's just not the same as actually doing it and uh, it's you know for some people it's a tough tool to learn and this tutorial takes you one step at a time through little projects where you try to follow the path with the pen tool and um, I find it it's really helpful for me learning it I've gone through a bunch of them and now I'm up to this step which is a fairly complex one because there's a lot of curves and it even tells you about how many nodes you should have as you go through so it's like a game where you try to do it in a certain number of nodes or maybe even beat the number of nodes uh, that they say you should do it in so I want to show you how it works so that you can try it if you want to try it you can go to the website bezier.method.ac and basically there will always be a starting point that blinks blue so that's where you're going to begin so I'll make my first point there just clicking once I'm just using a mouse but I suppose you could use a, a pen tool or anything else then you come to the next point I'm not clicking at all and where I think I'm gonna make my next node before I have to go into the next curve so then when you reach the next node you have to remember to click and drag the drag is what's gonna bend my line to make it fit the curve so I'm gonna click and drag and then the length and the angle of it you know you can work it around is what's going to make the curve look like it fits in the path that's there now before you let go you have to also look this is a lot going on here you also have to look at what's coming next and my curve is gonna go around the corner so you'll notice that where my pen is right now it's sort of pointing out into space it's not really pointing in the direction of where my curve is going so if I were to just leave it like that uh, I'll do it it's gonna cause me a little problem you'll see I'll just leave it and then if I were to try to come over here oh it's working okay but sometimes it puts you out somewhere too far uh, so if I had made a mistake you can at any time hit control Z and it will undo and uh, you can re redo the last uh, spot you made so here I'm coming to the other side of this curve and if I click and and maybe drag a little bit I can even out that now what I was trying to show you is you need to get the point where the pen is after you do this don't let go of the mouse and hold down the alt button and then you can see when you hold down the alt button you can move this little thing around any way you want and you want to point it in the direction it's going next or you could end up having a problem getting there so once you do that you can let go and then your next step is to make that next line so I'm gonna come down here and make this point okay then I'm going to pick a point up here somewhere and click and drag and make that curve but now I have to remember I have to make sure that my next step is I'm going to hold out alt I have to realign myself on this path and let go now I can come up here to make the next one and click then I can come and make this big curve over here click and drag and find out where the curve looks good and then remember to hit alt so that I can get myself going in the right direction over here alright then I'll probably make a node somewhere over here and then do alt to get myself back on track and I'll make a curve over here and then do alt to get myself back on track oh, see if you come too close to the line it um, it doesn't do it so I have to do that one again well, it doesn't like what I did so I'm having a bit of trouble on this one I might have been too close with this spot here's a good spot where I'm gonna back up hit control Z and I'm gonna um, try this again uh, and I'm gonna go right to this point over here 
All right, that's better. And this one is not coming out right, so I may have to undo that one. <laughs> Probably, um, see where you're off, you have to go back a step and do it again. So let me try that again. Oh, and I forgot to move it again. So do it again. As you can see, I still need a lot of practice with the pen tool. I'm going to have to use Alt, I think, to straighten out this line. That's the problem. All right, now when I come over here, and I'm just working my way down the curve. and then make sure that I'll be straight and and then I should be able to make it right to here to the final one and when you let go if you did it right it shows you your shape and I used 12 out of 12 nodes so I did it right now my my shape is not perfectly uh, it doesn't perfectly look good but according to the program I did it right uh, and so it's great practice and uh, when you hit next it takes you to another one that's even harder so the more you do this uh, the better you're gonna get at it It even gives you the little uh, sh keyboard shortcut tips about how to do certain things so for example I was using control Z to undo a lot and um, I think it's a great way to learn the pen tool it's certainly um, helping me a lot it's uh, the furthest I've ever gotten with the pen tool so give this a try and see if you like it. Leave a comment down below. And if you like this tutorial, be sure to join my photography class at morethanasnapshot.com. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom so you can see our future videos. Also, you might want to check out the show notes to see uh, my other websites like morethanasnapshot.com where you can take my online photography class. Also, like us on Facebook so you'll know what's new with morethanasnapshot.com.